Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do uh, issue number four of The Omega Man by Anderson Gabridge and Henry Flint. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this series a lot and it's getting better and better even in this issue. So let's dive right in. So, Tigor and um, I believe her name is Liana is meeting with the Omega Man, the original ones that's been resurrected by the darkness of Bay Lady Styx. And um, so Tiger says, uh, or I mean, this guy's called uh, Primus. He says, um, there is no illusion, old friends. No trick, we are real. Seems that they were teammates somehow or back in the day. Resurrected through the power of Our Lady Styx, we have come to sh uh, shepherd you on the path of eternal salvation. Uh, but, you know, Tiger doesn't trust uh, him. And um, he says, um, wait, if you are here, where is she? Where is my wife? He, she says, uh, he says, and he's going a little bit crazy. He says, where's Felicity? Um, so Primus says, she's weak. She needs you, Tigor. Uh, Felicity wants you on your side. And he shows her where to, to find her. But then before uh, Liana can do anything, she's getting stopped by her mother somehow and um she just you know pulls her in and and, and holds her and um her mother says uh, it's okay don't be scared mother is here you have found your destiny everything in your life has been um has brought you here can you feel it a lady needs your love and then she says you're not my mother my mother taught me and then she's powering up <laughs> and then this is happening she says, my partner and my mother taught me God doesn't need love. God is love. I didn't, I, I didn't see this coming at all. I mean, she's just using her powers to rip her own mother apart. It looks gruesomely good. Um, and um, so Tiger comes in and, um, and then so the spider emperor uh, catches him and condemning him to the darkness or the web. And But before Liana can do anything, she's being stopped by... Uh, by Primus and the others. And uh, meanwhile, Vril Dox is here and he is getting a visit from Lady Styx. And um, so she talks about him, about, you know, do you have a soul? But, you know, Vril Dox is a, is a man of science. He's an atheist. He doesn't believe in God. Of course, he knows what a soul is, but he plays dumps a little bit. Meanwhile, um, I believe his name is Blackstar, Darkstar. Something like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting. Um, he's being... Um, how do you say? Well, this entity... Um, well, not killed his friends, but, you know, rendered them immobile. So it wants to have a conversation with the prince. She said um, that they are unharmed. Except, um, so the prince says, unfreeze them now. Well, not yet. First, we know we need to go for a talk. Relax. Allow the data streams to carry you. So she invades his mind, peacefully, quote unquote, and then um, <clears throat> she sees um, the past. But then she realizes who she is. Um, his eyes, the sparkle. How do I never re register that before? Wait, you're his liquid computer suit. So yeah, remember that he is. Uh, Real dogs uses his. Well, the, the living computer, and it, in the last issue, a boy says, is it alive? And he says, well, of course not. Are you silly? But um, she wasn't alive. Um, so Vril Dox sent um, it to invade the spider ship and um, get past the defenses and reclaim the uh, Fort Hearthstone. But she bonded with it and became sentient. And um, so she says... Um, what do I do with it? Well, first rule is try not to die. <laughs> Very cool. Meanwhile, Tycho finds his, his, I believe his wife or his, his other half. And um, she is still alive and she, he rips through all these dark webs to get to her. And then uh, when he gets to her, he's, he's very happy and, uh, well, they uh, mingle, <clears throat> if you can say that. Meanwhile, uh, Liana is... <laughs> is uh, very defiant, and he says, um, I give you one chance, give up your lady's darkness and choose God's light for yourselves. Um, and Primus says, heretic. <laughs> Look, I mean, she has a good, good body. I mean, these, these Chun-Li hips, hips, so, um, yeah, she's thick, very nice. 
He says, you lost your chance. And uh, she's going on her, well, ads, dudes, come on. I wanted to show you something epic. So she uses her powers to do something. I don't know. It's just, um, I believe she has gravity powers or something like that. And um, she's going up and everybody's piling on her. And, and well, this is happening. She's killing everybody with her gravity powers. And it, her powers ripples through the uh, the planet and of parts of the planet. And then the, um, the spider um, emperor says, you pay for this. Make me blackface, she says. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things happening here and the art looks great. Meanwhile, um, uh, Lady Styx is still having a chat with Real Ducks. And Real Ducks says, uh, define the soul. Um, she says, your soul is part of you that is eternal, that lives forever. Frill says, nothing is forever. Everything dies. Everything except death. Heat and light will always be reclaimed by the cold and the dark. Um, most of the universe is made of the dead, Commander. You are implying that dark matter is death. In the crudest terms, death is gravity. Hmm, curious, he says. The gravest of matters, that is what the Guardian of Oa said. So uh, <clears throat> he also warned that the Omega Man was violating the natural order. Because the Omega Man wants to stop my coming. And the Guardians won't let you come? Why? Surely you of all people can imagine the seduction of a simple, singular unified universe. Do you see it now? All things will be equal in the new existence. All things except you. So basically she's saying that she will become God and that she's becoming the only entity. It's been a little bit explained in the last issue as far as I remember. And um, she says, uh, I will be God, she says. Good thing I'm an atheist. <laughs> Frill is a piece of shit, but uh, I like him. Um, great, uh, by the way, great comic, by the way. Uh, meanwhile, um, Tiger is, is trying to free his, his girlfriend or his wife. And he is afraid that she's going to lose her again. Because somehow she says that she's been tied to the, well, to Lady Sticks. So maybe if Lady Sticks is vanquished, she's going to, you know, die again. Um, but she says, well, you can still escape. I can show you. There is no way I'm leaving you behind. You can't. I don't want to fight for a world with you anymore. I love you, he says. Real touchy moments. I like that a lot. Um, then, meanwhile, um, again, Lady Styx is um, sensing some change. And she says that she is being released soon. And that the power of the creation will be hers. And... Um, and then and Tiger's girlfriend says, hold me, Tiger, it won't be long. I mean, oh, wait a minute. I've, uh, I've skipped the one. Sorry, 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 sorry. So um, this entity, um, what's her name again? Let me, let me double read. Selica? 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 Let me, let me double check. Dude. Selica, I believe. Where is it? 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 What's her name? Uh, Silica. I was close. Silica, Silica. Anyway, so Silica explains that she is part of the forces of the universe, that she has become a nuclear force. I am like a mathematical wind through quantum windmills. While you, Wildfire is his name. Okay. Uh, are the strong nuclear force, the fiery potential that binds us all. Liana is the electromagnetic impulse or pulsing from the universal heart. And while the um, spider emperor weaves the dark matter strings of gravity from unseen masses, claiming all that become ensnared. The only thing is missing is the forces to unite our forces. Uh, force to unite our forces. What is that? I wonder. So, um, so the Spider Emperor is just chasing uh, Liana because, uh, well, she tried to escape his. And he says, your powers won't help you. Gravity takes all things, including your light. The lady will be so proud. So um, he gets her, wants to ensnare her. Um, but then Liana fights back. She says, um, no, um, a shame not to indulge such beauty. No, you're the shame. And I'm ending this now. Wait, you can't kill me. Can't? Just watch me. I will condemn the Commander Dogs and Tiger to the darkness forever. Tell them sorry for me. 
<laughs> oh, that's so cool. She's badass. And she says, um, oh, wait, this is the end. Um, God. She says, but God knows sometimes bad things happen to good people. I mean, I love this shot. This is a cool cliffhanger. I wonder if he is um, becoming, becoming a force of good or maybe not or something in between. I don't know, but she's, she's badass. Also, like uh, the artist rendition of hair um, looks really cool. Um, yeah, overall, good comic, great comic. I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, like I said, new stuff for me to enjoy. That's why I'm uh, going backtrack to older comics more because why should I pay for new comics if I have gems like this here lying in the past to pick up? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the comic and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.